everyone's are stepping their feet and this stadium is rumbling! This is definitely a Lollapalooza! Epo! Go! You're gonna win, Epo! Hang in there, son! I'm not gonna hold you. Knock him out! Kid. The Japanese featherweight title match is finally nearing its end. At the end of this brutal battle, upon whom will the goddess of victory shine? The champ puts on the pressure. Makanouchi has nowhere to go. Makanouchi goes into the Dempsey roll. It's blocked. They hit simultaneously. A right connects! This is a big chance for Makanouchi! I wonder what it's like to be strong. To be strong. I have to win to get the answer. If I win, I'll get the answer. He's up! The champion grips the ropes to stand up! Will it continue? Will it come to an end? Mom, leave that there. I'll carry it out. You will? Thanks. I'll lock up then. Okay, let's go, Wampo.
morning, Umazawa. Huh? Come on, Ipo, I'll do that. You should be taking it easy. Oh, I'm fine. I'm completely recovered from the fight. Yeah, but still, you should be resting. Hey there, champ. Hmm? Are you up and about already? It's awful early. I sure am. Thanks for asking. You know, sir, you don't have to call me champ. Why don't we just keep it the same as always? Yeah, but you, my friend, are the bona fide Japanese featherweight champion. That's right. I feel pretty good being the best friend of the champion. Hold your head high. You have a lot to be proud of. <laughs> but when I'm here working on the boat rentals like this, let's keep it the way it's been. Ah, uh, come on, champ. Yeah, we're gonna call you champ too, all right? You're number one! <laughs> <laughs> Champ. It feels good to be called that. It's kind of embarrassing, too. And it still doesn't feel real. Champion, huh? Yeah! Hey, is that new sportswear you're wearing? Well, actually, I got it as a gift. It sure is nice to have new training gear. It makes me feel lighter. My steps feel faster. And I could keep running forever. <laughs> hey, kid. Uh, yes, sir, Chief? I should praise you for doing such a good job this time around. However, the work doesn't end when you become champion. You've gone from aiming for the belt to being aimed at for the belt. You understand what I'm trying to say? You see, kid, the real fight starts now, so you gotta stay on your toes. I will. Why are you looking so serious? Hey, Mr. Champion, you've gotta sing with us. What? No thanks, I'm busy right now. What you are you guys saying? Go ahead. Are you trying to say my mic's not good enough for you? Oh, yeah. See how stuck up he is since becoming champion? Stop it, guys. You know that's not true. So, Ipo, how does it feel? Mr. Takamura. Sokamura, Aoki, what is it like to be overtaken by an underling? I don't understand how that might feel. I mean, here I am, at least I'm the champion. Um, uh, Kumi, hi. Everyone looks like they're having a great time. Huh? Oh, is that what it looks like? What was that? I'm afraid you'll have to nothing, speak up. Nothing at all, but you'll see. We'll do it. When the time comes, we'll take care of it. That's right, we'll do it. I'll take that belt for Tomiko's sake. Oh, isn't that huh? sweet? What? Is it so wrong to want to win the title belt for the woman you love? Are you trying to act like a big shot? What a clown. Aoki, give up yet? Oh, 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 oh let go! Congratulations! Uh, Masaru! He was having a bit of a scuffle with Kimura. What? what are you doing to Masaru? <laughs> Knock it off, you thugs! <laughs> hey, I was just playing! Tomiko! No, it was Takamura! What? Oh, really? oh, don't worry. Sorry. They'll be all right. No Boxers problem. are used to taking a beating. Really? Do you think so? Okay? I'll still have a look at Kimura afterwards. Better to be safe than sorry, don't you think? Oh, uh, well, thanks for that. So I get beat up for Nada? <laughs> um, by the way... Yes? Mm, congratulations on becoming champion. Huh? Also, today is your birthday, so here. Uh, this is for me? I just hope you're really going to like it. Well, is it really for me? Yes. Well, and you won't tell me to give it back later? No, I wouldn't do that. No, I know you wouldn't. Sorry. That's so nice. Oh, Kumi, thanks. You can open it, you know. Wow, a warm-up suit. It's great, Kumi. I'll wear it forever, even when it falls apart. Wow, what a relief. I wasn't really sure if it was something that you would like or not. What do you think? How do I look? You look great. This... this is great. You're getting chummy over here. But I wonder what Kumi's oh-so-nice sweetheart of a psychotic big brother thinks about you becoming the champion. Mashiba. Kumi is Mashiba's little sister. Any guy who wants anything to do with her has to face him. <clears throat> Huh? 
Has it really been three years? I was saved from bullies by Takamura, who then took me to his gym. And there I encountered boxing. And then... I started wanting to know what it felt like to be strong. I thought I would find out once I became a boxer. Try this. If you manage to grab ten leaves, I'll teach you how to box. Darn it. I soon learned how to catch the first leaf. But it was horribly difficult to get the second and third. Again. I did it over and over. I even felt like giving up along the way. Qualify, right, Mr. Takamura? Now you'll teach me to be a boxer? I, uh, sure. I can't believe the squirt did it. Oh, well. Those were some pretty good jabs. I wanted to be a boxer without a thought of anything else. It was the moment I changed my life. From being a victim to receiving someone's approval for the first time. The day I joined the gym, I sparred with Miata. Neither of us had professional licenses at the time, but Miata was tough. He was so incredibly tough, I was no match for him whatsoever. Huh? <sighs> Miata! Hmm? Long time no see. Well, this is kind of fateful, isn't it? Actually, I was just thinking about you, believe it or not. It's almost like the powers that be put us here in the same place at the same time. Huh? Uh... Hey, you're kind of freaking me out. Huh? Hmm. I changed my usual route because I have something that I have to say to you. Say to me? You're a champion. How sweet it sounds to a guy like me who didn't even qualify for Rookie of the Year. Hey, don't say that! You're number three in the OPBF. Hey, did you know that I'm actually below you in the rankings? And besides, I got this far trying to catch up to you. Ever since that fight. First defense fight takes place next year at the championship tournament. Mm -hmm. Don't lose your belt, Makanouchi. You and I haven't been able to have our grudge match showdown yet. I can't believe I've come this far. I definitely won't lose. I want a showdown with Miata. I won't give the belt up to anyone. Hey, Chief! Yeah, what is it? There's a call for you. This is Kamigawa. I didn't know you were my best friend. You're such a kidder. So what do you want? Actually, he's returned. He's back here in Japan. Who? Open up the monthly boxing fan from two months ago. And turn to page 94. Take a good hard look at the lower left-hand side. Yeah? Huh? <clears throat> Listen, now that 
that he is back here, he'll definitely come to harass you. <sighs> I really owe you one, buddy. Is something wrong, sir? Hey! Don't I look great? Don Kichihama, a world-class trainer in Mexico. In Mexico? So do you know him, sir? Yeah, actually, I fought him myself when I was still boxing. Really? Who won? Two matches, two KOs. And Neko actually beat him three times. You had KOs, huh? Both you and Mr. Nakoda were tough fighters, weren't you, sir? I don't know about that. Huh? Actually, it was more like trying to stay alive in the ring. The man is truly a gifted genius. He boxes like a swift swallow. <sighs> I tell you, kid, this guy would move as gracefully and as skillfully as a swallow. A swallow, huh? Don Kichihama's Sunday Punch was called the Flying Swallow. It's a technique that can block both infighters and outfighters. Flying Swallow? What kind of punch could that be? However, there was a weak point to his genius. He was cursed with a weak jaw. A glass jaw. It happened one match. A lucky counterpunch shattered it. And the swallow's wings were finally clipped. Yeah, it's an old story. That punch really hurt. Hmm? The story may be old, and it certainly is, but my jaw remembers your fist like yesterday. It's Tonkichi. Uh, huh? The man in the photo. So the chief's the one who broke his jaw. Here you are. You probably have an ulterior motive, don't you, kid? Huh? But I'm just bringing you... And don't treat me like an old fart, got it? Yes, sir. It's been a very long time, hasn't it? I just wanted to stop by and say hello. Well, that's very nice of you. Even though I'm an old goat, when I found out I'd be fighting against you, my blood boiled. Fighting? As of this month, one of my excellent young boxers is ranked number one in the featherweight division. Yeah, one of your boxers? That's right. A former junior featherweight champion. His name's Kazuki Sanada. That's the Japanese junior featherweight champion who successfully defended his title five times! You took on Sanada? Yeah, he surrendered his belt and changed his category to featherweight. And the champion is obliged to take on the number one ranked fighter in the championship tournament. In other words, son, you'll be fighting Kazuki Sanada, who's ranked number one in the featherweight division. Did you do this out of revenge? <laughs> Don't look at it like that. Back when I was actively competing, I looked forward to fighting you more than anyone else I knew. Now that we're too old to get in the ring ourselves, our disciples will fight in our places. We'll be able to continue our old rivalry just as though we had never left the ring. You know, the kid and I are totally different types of boxers, Dunkichi. That's right, but your fighting spirit lives on inside of him, which is good enough for me. Well, you haven't been back in the country very long, have you? And I'm sure you haven't been with Sonata long, either. It's true, we may not have had enough time together for me to call him my disciple, but I've got to tell you, he's an extremely fast learner. He's already mastered the Flying Swallow. The Flying Swallow? Well, I gotta go. See you around. Mm-hmm. Oh, I'll let you in on something. <laughs> the Flying Swallow ain't the only thing he's learned from me. There's something else. A little move I like to call the Flying Swallow Turnover. Flying Swallow Turnover? I shouldn't be helping you like this, but there are two swallows in the ring. And if I were you, I'd keep my eye on the second swallow. Two swallows? Left! Ugh. I can throw a punch as he pulls back! Ugh. Keep your wits together, we're going again. Huh. So that's it? Weird. I should have been able to dive in deep. <laughs> this is it. This is the timing. <laughs> he didn't fully withdraw his left. He changed course. A left hook! <laughs> I get it. A punch that changes course is the flying swallow. I see. Ooh. I did it just like the chief instructed, but I bet the real thing is much more impressive. From the jab, to the hook, to the fake uppercut, which is really a jab, with a whole abundant array of variations. It's difficult for an outboxer to take counters. For in-fighter, it's different. 
I can't dive in deep. That's correct. In other words, this left punch will effectively crush the Dempsey roll. Uh-huh. And what do you do about the right fist? The Flying Swallow turnover will have to consider using a right-handed counter for the kid. In other words, the right punch is for close-range fighting. I wonder what it is. The Hook family? The Uppercut family? Or maybe... Huh? It won't do us any good to think about a punch that we can't predict. For the time being, we'll do intensive training for the Sonata fight. Yes, sir! Fuji, what's the deal? How come Kinoshita Jim isn't doing interviews? They're in the middle of developing a new blow to counterattack Makino Uchi. He has a new exciting profile, and I'd like to get people excited about it, but... How's Makino Uchi doing? You know, he's carrying on as usual, like it's nothing. To be honest, I'm really feeling the pressure, but Sonata's a man who's defended his title five whole times. This time, it's my turn. I just happen to be the one holding the title, and my feelings towards this match haven't changed any. As always, I'll be prepared to enter the ring as a challenger. I don't think he really understands what a defensive fight is like. Are you serious? Hmm, Kazuki Sonata, fifth year student in Taito University Medical School, only son to the director of Sonata General Hospital. Well, I should be able to find him there. Come in, please. Good afternoon, Mr. Sonata. Hmm? You must be the reporter from Boxing Fan Magazine. Please excuse me. My name is Imura. Would it be all right to ask you a few questions? Usually they make an appointment. Well, you can ask me about anything you like, except for the secret punch I'm working on. Well, I heard that there's some very high expectations of you here at the university. Many people feel your career as a medical doctor is practically a sure thing. Isn't that so? Well, yes. You have to admit, it's unusual. Why is someone like you, who's studying to be a doctor, spending his time boxing? Can you explain that? Well, see, I respect my father a great deal and believe the medical profession to be very respectable. However, I don't want to just blindly walk down the path that my parents want me to and become a doctor just to please them. At first, it was coincidence. A magazine had posted a recruiting advertisement, and I was always somewhat proficient at sports, so at first I went to punch the sandbag as stress relief, you know? I punched it hard. And then what? Well, I found out that I really enjoyed it. You enjoyed it? Go on. And after about six months, they made me get up and spar, and I was beaten to a pulp. Even the former champion was a rookie. You have to start somewhere. I was so vexed. I did research. I researched just how to hit the jaw at a certain angle to produce a concussion, and how many punches I could get in while the opponent's lower body was in a state of paralysis, and the effects and longevity of a body blow that would delay recuperation. I tested each individually and learned to control my opponent. I see you're approaching this very clinically. However, it didn't unfold as calculated in the professional boxing ring. Just when I was assured of victory, they would get up again. I am also the same. I can't go on, but I do. Exchanging punches as I answered my own questions. I never felt my own will and strength as much as I do at this point in my life. And once I had learned the feeling of fulfillment of winning, I was really hooked. So in order to achieve that feeling, you returned your title belt so that you would have the opportunity to fight Makina Uchi? But it's difficult to conquer the difference in power between the two classes. And that is just what makes it so worthwhile. He certainly has overwhelming destructive power in his hands. However, I am studying to be a medical doctor. I not only possess the knowledge to heal, I also know how to use it to my advantage to break down the human body. This guy isn't your average rich kid. So he's a son of a doctor? Yeah, that's what Fuji said. That's unusual for a boxer. Sonata General Hospital's one of the largest in the country. Yeah, it's huge. Now that you mention it, Tomiko said something about it. She said there was a handsome, young, charismatic, only son of a doctor who boxes. Huh? He's quite a hot topic among the nurses. A handsome, young, charismatic, only son of a doctor who boxes? Sounds like a babe magnet.
You're right about that. Tamiko said she's not really interested in him, but you know. <laughs> Setting Tamiko aside. <laughs> Setting her far aside, huh? What'd you say? If he's the hot topic among the nurses, then naturally. Hmm? You can be sure that Kumi's heard of him. Ugh. The idol of the nurses versus Ippo. I can't help but wonder who Kumi will cheer for, you know what I mean? Uh, don't sweat it, Ippo. I'm sure she'll cheer for you. Nothing to worry about. <sighs> However, I can't guarantee what'll happen if you lose. What? Just try losing badly. Huh? Ippo, hey, you lose this match badly, you'll end up losing the girl and the title. Hey, what are you saying? I mean, yeah, I could very well lose the belt, but Kumi's not my girlfriend, so it's not like I can lose her because I never even had her. Are you still saying that crap, you little dork? I've never liked how you putt, putt, putt her around. If you like her, tell her you like her. Be a man. Grow some cojones, will ya? Well, I... I don't dislike her. You don't dislike her, huh? Do you like her? Well, if I had to choose between the two... Stop fluttering around, dork! Do I have to beat it into your head? Ha! 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 Say it! Just tell her! Tell the sweet girl you love her! Do you want Sonata to take her away? What? What does Sonata have to do with any of this? Well, Takamura is being a little heavy-handed, but he definitely has a point there. What? At the moment, Ippo, you are the Japanese champion. Listen, you can hold your head up high and walk with real pride wherever you go. Now's a good time to do something about the girl. I don't get it. Tell her you love her. <laughs> but I'm busy. I've got a defense match coming up. As long as you're champ, you'll always have a match coming up, so it's not an excuse. And besides, it would be hard to play it cool after losing the belt. Tell her! Tell her! Tell her! Tell her! Hey, listen, you guys. Can't I just do this later? You are so lame. Oh, I'll call her on the no, phone. No, no, please don't do that. Somebody stop him. Tell her now! Tell her now! This is hopeless. Here you go, you little dork. I got you the phone. These guys are having a big laugh, and it's at my expense. Here. Okay, I'll do it. But I'll only do it on one condition. Here you go. What's going on? It's a three to one arm wrestling showdown. I'm really too strong to take part in this tournament. That wouldn't be fair, now would it, guys? Uh, hey, Goto. Huh? Okay, all I have to do is win. Huh? He probably came up with arm wrestling because he has confidence in his arm strength. But Ippo doesn't know how strong Aoki's become from lifting all those boxes at the noodle shop. I'll start this. I'm not gonna make this easy. Ugh. Look at those arms. Well, if I can't do it, maybe Aoki can. What if I confess my love to Kumi and she doesn't feel the same? Just the thought of it gives me the shivers. We're fine the way we are. Come on, both of you relax. Good, all right now, fellas. Ready? Go! <laughs> One down. Oh, he's a lot stronger than I thought. Right, let me. Come and get Ooh, it, Epo! Uh -huh. So what do you think about that, Epo? Go get him, Aoki. I can't lose at any cost. I can't lose. He won't know what hit him. Ready, set, go! <laughs> His shoulder's dislocated. He's really strong. <laughs> Mr. Nakanuchi is way tough. And that's two. I hope he lost easily. We miscalculated. Next one. Goto won't stand a chance against him. Where's Goto? I said next one. Oh. Huh? All right, you ready? Oh. Hey, this isn't what we agreed upon. Goto had to back out due to a sudden nosebleed. I may not be up to the task, but thanks for the match in advance. I must be crazy. Takamura's in! He's gonna kick Ebo's ass! It's gonna be worth watching! Okay, we start the betting at $10. I got 20 on Takamura! I think Takamura's gonna avoid it! Takamura! I can't believe they're making money on my agony! Yeah, Takamura will kick Ebo's This is impossible to get out of now. But I'm up against Takamura! Say, what's wrong? This is too unreasonable. <clears throat> How can you look at me like that? 
Are you really having that much fun? Is it that much fun to tease people? Now you're really making me angry. Mmm, come on, let's go! <sighs> Hurry. The heck I'm gonna lose. All right, both of you relax, here we go. Ready? <laughs> go! They're not budging. Not even the slightest twitch either. This is unbelievable. This guy is seriously tough. If I lose concentration, he'll take me in a second. I won't give up. What? I'm not done yet. I'll beat him and break his arm, too. I won't lose for anything. I can't believe it. Look at that. That was Who the hell that? Was that? Oh, cool. I wouldn't have oh, never seen anything like that. Is there a rule for that? Looks like. I just won. Justice did not prevail. This is so good. I was practically starving. Yeah, is it me or is it really hot in here? She came, but how do I tell her? And what if she doesn't feel the same way? I may never see that smile again. Come to think of it, when I was coming home from the gym, Aoki said... I'll give you a good news tip from Tomiko. She says you've got a chance. A chance. A chance. A chance. <laughs> no, this is no time to be giddy. What am I gonna do now? Well, hey, look, it's snowing. Huh? huh? Is that Wampo? He followed us. <laughs> Wampo! Epo, let's take him to the park and play with him for a while in the snow. Uh -huh. Come on, Wampo, let's go play. Way to go, Wampo. Here, Wampo. <laughs> You're so cute. <laughs> this is wonderful. It all started because of Mr. Takamura's malice. But maybe it was a good opportunity. Maybe now, maybe now I can tell her what I came to tell her. Hey, Kumi? Uh, yes? I, I need to talk to you about something important. I'll be honest, and I'll tell her I love her. I can do it now. Kumi, I... I need to tell you that... this match coming up, you know, and, uh... uh oh, I'd, I'd really like it if you were there to cheer me on. If you want to. Uh... Oh. Um... I know about it. They're talking about it at the hospital. 
all the nurses said they're going to cheer for Mr. Sonata. Uh, does that mean you're gonna cheer for him too? Mr. Sonata is such a wonderful person, and they've all invited me to come, so... Uh, if that's the case, then... Well then, Kumi, I guess that's that. <sighs> that's that? Is that what you wanted to say? Do you want me to go and cheer for your opponent? Is that what you really want, Ifo? You're under no obligation to cheer for me. So I, uh, so I don't know what else to say, Kumi. Um... Obligation? I have no right to order you to cheer for me, so I'll just, um... Obligation? Why would you... I just don't get it at all. Why? Why in the world would you have to phrase it like that? Well, it's because I... I just think that, well, well, I, I, I think that you should cheer for whoever you want to cheer for. <sighs> All right, very well then. That's exactly what I'm going to do. <sighs> Goodbye. Uh -huh. wasn't supposed to be like this. He got dumped? She lost patience with him? Mm-hmm. I'm leaving. Good idea. Shh, come on, keep it down. Sure hope he doesn't catch cold. getting cold. It's gonna be the coldest night of the year tonight. Man. <clears throat> make some food. I said make some food. Hey, make some... Ah! Why don't you feed yourself once in a while? What'd you do that for? All you men are jerks! Look, he's completely absorbed. Gosh, I guess we really did it to Epo this time. I'll try cheering him up, okay? I don't think that'd be a good idea. Huh? Epo has just lost the one thing that was important to him, and fighting's all he's got left. We should support him all we can so he can at least keep the title belt. Know what I mean? That's what we were going to do from the start. He plans to wait till it blows over. He can't lose that, too. I've got a match coming up, and those guys are messing with my mind! Still, I should have told her how I felt about her when I had the chance. Uh, I give up. I've got to focus on the fight. I've got to get past this next match. Ugh. All right, kid, you ready? Mm -hmm. Go! <laughs> That's a flying swallow. You can see that punch is difficult for a well-built opponent to dive into. Is he gonna... Yeah, knock him out. He pulled back. Hey, look, he predicted the counterattack. What intuition. What the hell's the matter with you? Are you blind? Huh? There's a thing called palpation. It means to touch the patient's body to gauge their condition. 
To Sonata, the act of landing a punch comes very close to palpation. For him, it's not intuition. Things aren't what they seem. Hmm. He's pulling back again. Watch very closely. Wow, what the hell was he throwing from his right uppercut? <laughs> huh? Since he fell down, we couldn't show you the second flying swallow, which I think you'd find very impressive. Oh, so you deflect with the right guard to dive in, and that's the Chief's flying swallow countermeasure? Kamigawa really knows what he's doing. So you think Makano Uchi is always like that? Champ! Give us a comment on your first title defense. Look alive, kid. He's talking to you. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> Pressure sure doesn't seem to be part of his vocabulary. Hmm. I doubt he's the type who can put on an act. But you couldn't move well for your first defense fight, you know. True. Anyway, we'll know for sure tomorrow. You know, the swallow turnover is likely a hook or an uppercut. Yeah, right. I think so, too. And did you notice his chest has gotten bigger since he was a junior featherweight? Don't worry about that. There's nothing to fear. And your infighting peekaboo is perfectly suited for that. Above all else, the range is right up your alley. We're ready, kid. You got nothing to worry about. So, does that take a little weight off your shoulders? I'm a little nervous, but nothing out of the ordinary. I'm in good condition. <laughs> I feel good. You should. You trained hard enough. Don't worry, you'll do fine. Hey, what's up? What brings all you guys over here anyway? Hey, look, it's the champ! <laughs> oh, wow! We're taking this to tomorrow's fight. You defend that belt, champ! Yes, sir, I'll do what I can. Me and the boss got you a little something. Enjoy! Wow! Red is definitely the color of the champion. After all, you're in the red corner now. That's your home. Thank you so much, Mom, Umazawa. Do you see the 12 stars? That's how many KOs you have. And I've got the 13th star all ready to go. I'm counting on another KO tomorrow. You got it. Thank you. Thank you all so much. Thank you all. I won't disappoint you. Thank you, all of you. Good luck. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Sure, take it easy. Doctor, doctor! Let's play! What, now? Sagumi, Sonata has a match tomorrow. Don't give him a hard time. He'll play with you another time. Ah. Chief, a little time with the kid will help me relax. Really, it'll be all right. Oh, okay, if you want to, thanks. Yay! I hate you, Dad. Blah, blah. Why, you... <laughs> hey, you brat. <laughs> I lost again. You suck, Doctor. You're no good at this game, but in real life, you're a good fighter. I'm not quite a doctor yet, Sugumi, you know, but almost. What? But you fixed my cold. You remember that, right? That makes you a doctor. A doctor who can fix any kind of illness. Isn't that right? It was just a simple cold, Sugumi. No big deal. However, there are things that I can't heal. Huh? Like the anxiety of illness. Anxiety? Listen, I actually want to heal anxiety as well as the illness itself. However, to get rid of the anxiety of illness, you need lots of courage. And to give others the courage they need to succeed, you need to be very strong as a human being yourself. You are strong, Doctor. You even became the champion. I hate to say this, especially to everyone I've fought, but I honestly don't think my strength has ever been put to the test. Hmm? Was that a little difficult for you to understand? <laughs> Let's play this thing. Yeah! That's right. I've never been put to the test. That's why I want to fight in a higher weight class. From a man who defeated Sendo, boasting overwhelming power, Ippo Makano Uchi, the perfect man for the job. He'll put me to the test. If I defeat him, I can ascertain my own strength. 
And that's why I challenged him. Oh, you got me again. The reigning world champion! Champion Red, huh? This'll be the first time I'll be coming out of the red corner. The belt Date wore. The belt I worked so hard to take from Sendo. If I lost it easily, he would be disappointed in me too. And I can't let it go like that. No, I can't let it go no matter what. Sonata was relaxed. I wonder why. Is he confident? Or is he... No. Don't think of anything unnecessary. Think only of winning. I will win. I will win. I will win! Okay, here I go. Don't you worry, I'll be there by the main event. I'll be cheering louder than anybody, so do your best. I'm going to win by KO. No one's taking my title. Uh, yeah! He's really enthused about this. This'll really make it extra worthwhile to cheer for him. Ain't that right, Wampo? I don't know about this one. Huh? I hate to put a damper on things, but I'm really worried about him this time. There's something wrong with Ippo. I'm his mom, I can tell. You really think so? Even though he hasn't said so, I see it in his behavior. What do you mean by that? Well, to put it bluntly, I'm afraid he might end up losing the fight. Ippo Makanuchi enters the hall with the championship belt held up high as he faces his first defense of the title. He's wearing red shoes and trunks. 12 KO marks shine from his waist. Will he hang the 13th shining star from his waist later tonight? <sighs> What's wrong with you? I thought he was all right, but unfortunately, it looks like he's falling into the trap. Sure does. Defending his title as champ is probably a lot tougher than he imagined. Finally realizing he has to defend his title, and it's hit him like a ton of bricks. Look here, kid. Huh? Yes, sir? Listen, kid, dodge the first hit. That'll alleviate your stiffness, allowing you to get into a rhythm, you understand? Cornerman out! I must dodge the first one. It's hopeless. I can't do it like this. Fighters, come out to the center! Not like this. Once the bell rings... Ladies and gentlemen, the fight is finally underway. The fighters glare at each other from a distance, obviously sizing each other up. <sighs> He's too tense. He's stiff as a board. Kamagawa, your boxer's going down. I can't get hit by the first punch. I have to dodge it. Then I'll get my rhythm. I have to dodge it. Will it be a left or a right? Which? A left! I can dodge this! There's a right! And the champ loses his balance in a big way! Your kicking leg is glued to the mat. 
It's obvious you're stiff as a board. He was completely tied on that. Can you believe it? That had to really hurt. Mentally as well, his brain is probably in a state of total panic. What? Did I take a punch? I'm too confused to tell. <sighs> Sonata launches into an attack, and the champion is suddenly in trouble! Oh, damn it! Kid, get the hell off those ropes! He's making mincemeat out of you! The right hit clean. It'll take you five seconds to recover. Champion's awesome uppercut! So close! If that had landed, this fight would be over! Don't lose your cool, That wasn't Sonata. close. He was fully aware of the kid's recovery time, and he dodged it. The pace is his. Yeah, the kid's starting out on the wrong foot, that's for sure. Come on, get your rhythm! Go on, hit the guy! Don't let him hit you! He's acting so dignified. It's hard to tell who's champion right now. <laughs> huh? Remember your own boxing style. Box in your own style. The champion begins to sway his body from side to side. He's getting ready to attack. I took the title with my own boxing style, so I can be confident and go forward. The champion charges in. I'll dodge his left, and then we'll go head to head. <laughs> Good, I dodged the left. His body's unguarded. This'll work. <laughs> A left cross. Flying Swallow! Oh no, I forgot he had an ace up his sleeve. He's coming. Will it be straight or curved? Uh, uh, double hit! It's no good. I can't predict him whatsoever. I can't get his rhythm. Chief, what's going on? Well, to tell you the truth, Yagi, this is what I was afraid of. The kid took the title with true ability, but he isn't fully matured mentally as a champion. In his mind, the kid still thinks he's the challenger. He hasn't developed the confidence yet to believe in himself as a champion. The challenger goes in again. The champion manages to evade him. But he is blocked. The challenger's fast straight progress turns into an all-out assault. This is the flying swallow. He's moving like a swallow. He's just as sharp as Don Kichi was in his prime. He's more effective than I was. His reach is longer. Sonata is the ideal man to master the Flying Swallow. He's using the peekaboo. It's a tough want to hit through. But you know, Makina Uchi, if you stay balled up all the time, you can't protect the belt. Sonata throws a right cross! And there is a bell ending round one! The opening scores are 10 to 9. The round obviously goes to the challenger. The Flying Swallow is way more trouble than I ever thought. He needs to turn this around or he'll lose his belt in this first fight. Still, Sonata's not the type to go overboard no matter what the odds are. Doesn't look like he'll give him the chance to regroup. <sighs> oh, the kid took a beating that round. The Flying Swallow sure knocked him for a loop. Listen, you can't find a way out of this fix no matter how well you guard. So go forward and don't let the Flying Swallow distract you. You gotta fight this guy. Go after him. Otherwise, there's no change in the flow. <laughs> yes, sir. How's it going out there? It's all right. Everything is going real well. Only that peekaboo block is giving me trouble. I can get him for some face hits, but he's doing a good job of protecting his body. Never mind. Attack his guard with a flying swallow. If we can stiffen him up more, he'll lose flexibility. I doubt the great trainer Kamigawa will realize that the Flying Swallow is merely a sacrificial pawn. That maneuver is no more than a preparation leading up to the second Flying Swallow. Cornerman out! I must turn the tide. I can't allow myself to be dragged under like this. Round two! Huh? <laughs> Champion charges in! He catches the challenger off guard! He came to take back the lead by force. I'll stop him with the flying swallow. The most powerful weapon I have. The Dempsey roll. Right on! This will turn the tide. I don't think so. Sonata body slams Makanuchi! He stops it! Just as the Dempsey roll begins! 
To stop the pendulum, just use a little force on its fulcrum. It looked rough, but Takeshi Sendo taught us the most rational way to stop it. The demystified punches are no longer fatal. The fighters switch positions! The challenger regains his composure! I have to say, Don Kichi's done a hell of a job with this kid. He never leaves any stones unturned. And all the pressure of this match is on the kid to defend his title. Throw your fist, kid! You gotta get aggressive if you wanna turn the tide! How could the Dempsey roll have been stopped so easily? The champ again poises for the Dempsey roll! I don't care if he stops once or twice. I won't give up on it. I refuse to give up on it. <laughs> uh, the Flying Swallow stops the Dempsey roll cold! At close range, he's blocking the Dempsey roll with his body. At mid-range, it's the Flying Swallow. The Dempsey roll is being completely blocked off. The champ can't move! He's paralyzed by a random swallow attack! I'm sorry, but I'll stop it as many times as it takes. The Dempsey roll is the most terrifying attack to me. What are you doing out there, Evo? Actually, he's hanging tough with him. He's a real trooper. Huh? If only he firms up his guard a little bit, Sonata won't be able to get in an effective hit. Then he'll lose patience and throw a wide punch for sure. That's gotta be it. That's what Epo's waiting for. Huh? It's Operation Turtle! Damn, that Makanouchi is tough. At this rate, he's gonna have to back off to throw an effective hit. There's a way. Huh? There's a definite way to get an effective hit in. His rhythm, it changed. A right uppercut. Block it! Good. I blocked it. He's already in the next motion. It's a double right uppercut. It's okay. I can contain it with my current guard. I'll contain it and fight back. There are two flying swallows in the ring. Watch out for the second swallow. What the? Surprise, Kamagawa. This is it. The Swallow Turnover. How the hell did he do that? It's physically impossible to punch through a block. What does Don Kichi know that I don't? This is the Swallow Turnover. The champ's knees buckle. Is he going down? <laughs> huh? No way. Not in my first match as champion. I won't fall that easily. <sighs> jumbled his brains, and he's having a hard time moving his legs. He won't throw anything powerful. I can block and counterattack. He knocks him back against the ropes, right through his guard. This destructive power is the champion's strongest feature. Epo, you gotta stop him! Now, can he reverse the situation in one fell swoop? Now, don't get in a tizzy. He only hit your raised gloves. He did no damage. <sighs> hmm? Did it still have an effect? Those are some fists he's got. I can feel their force amply right through the block. But what surprises me most is his recuperative power. He regrouped his lower body in less than one second. Is this his strength? I can't gain anything by fighting on the defensive. I can't let Sonata throw a punch. Hey, Chief, it looks like Epo finally got warmed up. He's putting too much into it. Oh. He's got to pace himself, otherwise he's going to run out of steam before the end of the round. What power? I can't keep taking these punches forever. He's starting to roundhouse. He uses the left hook to alter his stance, and it's the Flying Swallow! This punch assaults the champion repeatedly! Offense swaps with defense at dizzying speed! However, control still remains with the challenger! He won't let me box my way whatsoever! I gotta get out of here! He's got me against the ropes! <laughs> right uppercut! The swallow turnover again! Good, I contained it! Here comes the second one! I'll contain that too! <laughs> I get what he's doing. 
Get up. His brain was rocked up and down. The paralysis of his motor reflexes spread through his entire body. No matter how fast his recovery speed, it's next to impossible for him to get up again within 10 seconds. Victory is mine. Less than two rounds and 20 seconds left to complete the job. Should be plenty of time. Hey, get up, people! Stand up, kid, and get yourself over here! Stand up! Come on! Swallow turnover. I'll teach you how. I know we can do it together, kid. Uh, huh? <clears throat> that that's absurd. I I have to go back to the chief. I have to go back. Huh. I have to go back. <clears throat> He's up! Sheer willpower brings the champ back to his feet! What the hell keeps him going? And there's the bell! We'll just have to wait and see what happens in the next round! I can't blame you for the shock you're feeling right now. It's hard to believe, but he reacted to the voice of his corner man through all that. It's plain to see that the bonds between the kid and Kamigawa are the real deal. That was a vertical uppercut! A vertical uppercut? The first blow is normally thrown with the back of the hand. Aim to upset the guard with impact. Naturally, even if you throw another the same way, it won't get through. That's when you do this. Huh? Huh? An eight ounce glove measures almost seven inches wide and almost four inches long. Yeah, that sounds right. Hammer must have come up with that idea while spending time in Mexico. So, what are you gonna do, Ken? Kid, can you hear me, kid? Say something! <sighs> Oh, man, he's in no condition to comprehend anything right now. Cornerman out! There isn't enough time! I'm... What are you... Ow! I'm going. Huh? Mm. Kid! Do you remember fighting a guy named Kenta Kabashi? He gave you a real hard time, kid. Do you remember how he fought you? Do you remember? <laughs> The champion stays in through sheer tenacity. He definitely needs to turn the tide in this round. Looks like he couldn't recuperate, but I have no leeway either. I'm going in one swoop. A flying swallow barrage! Is there nothing the champion can do? I won't hold back. Remember Kobashi, kid! Kobashi. I have to remember. Oh, the Swallow turnover scores! I can't get through! He blocked me again! How? I remember how Kobashi fought. He repelled my punches no matter how hard I hit him. It's the crossed arm block! Yeah, keep your dukes up, kid! This is a powerful defense! It even shuts out the Swallow turnover! Your opponent is rattled! Come on, let him have it, kid! You can't turn the tide just by blocking a punch. This is bad. I realize how effective the crossed arm defense is, but it makes it difficult to counterpunch. That's true. He's got to use his legs. The champion forges forward, taking bullets all the way! The courage not to fear punches is the greatest strategy. I know the kid can do it. I can't stop him with my left. If that's the case... He throws a right hook! Damn, look! Sonata's starting to throw his hook! And that break the crossed arm is nearly pointless! No way, they're not pointless. They're at such close range, hooks can reach. Peekaboo. That there. Okay, he's in range. Ugh. The champion throws a jump to the liver! 
The challenger returns fire! It's a violent rope side exchange! The champ throws a right hook and then a left! Stand back! In the third round, the champ's big guns explode! Yes! I was so absorbed, I couldn't feel the impact. Can he stand? Or will his dream of conquering two classes end here? Don't stay down! No, don't interfere. Huh? Calling out to him is only going to break his concentration. I'm starting to recover from my bodily damages. All I'm left with is the shock to my temple. The nerves in my feet won't respond. Is he down for the count? Seven! Uh, eight! Uh, I'm okay. Oh my! The challenger gets to his feet as though nothing happened! He was just resting until the referee got to eight. The box! I have to finish this. The champion rushes in to attack. Persevere. The challenger throws a swallow! It's not very sharp. In that case... Uh, 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 that was close. I was completely saved by the bell. He's figured it out, how to deflect the swallow. He can now fling away the swallow turnover as well. What should I do? The crossed arm block, huh? huh? Kamigawa's really done it this time. What should I do, coach? I'll teach you a strategy. I'm warning you, it involves something quite dangerous, but I know you can do it. You need to be at close range, extremely close range at that. You need to enter the eye of the typhoon. The eye of the typhoon? Okay. You've turned back the tide, kid. Go for the win in the next round and win your first defense title match against this guy. Yes. I've got to defend my title. Right. Yes, sir. I'll do it, sir. <laughs> Two minutes have elapsed in round four. The thrilling close-range fight continues. And the chap seems to be slowing down. And he takes one in the breadbasket. Sonata's shooting from the inside of Epo's already compact punches. If the kid wants to go for a knockdown, he's got to keep punching this guy. But believe me, I know, Sonata's not going to go down easy. Sonata's studying to be a doctor, so he knows just where to hit him. It's only a matter of time now. He's got the kid right where he wants it. <laughs> this is bad. It's cyanosis. He can't get any air. I can't breathe. This hurts. I'm taking a pounding. My legs won't move. Difficulty breathing deeply and raging abdominal pain. And he's mentally alert, forced to experience it. That's why if I focus on his abs, he's got to go down. He can't take much more of this. I can't breathe. It hurts. Come on, kid. Tolerate it. Don't go down. Stay focused. Don't worry, your hell will be over soon. He's going for the head, he's trying to knock him out. The swallow turnover scores a direct hit! Is this it for the champ? Huh? No! It's not a direct hit! He's tenacious. Yes, but that tenacity will leave him in a pile on the mat. Epo is outfought and infighting. He can hardly move his hands. This does not look good. It's not just his hands. His whole body's been paralyzed. 
Epo's never taken that many hard hits to the stomach. You're right. This is a new kind of pain for him. It's gotta be hard. Makano Uji throws a punch out of pride, but Sonata evades it! What incredible skills of concentration! Don Kichi sure picked a hell of a boxer. This guy's cool as a cucumber. He's powerful. His power's the real deal. This guy can even slip through the kid's heavy hits. Uh, Another left to the body! Uh, 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 my abs uh, feel like they're going to explode. Oh, I feel like I'm gonna pass out. I gotta hang in there. His eyes have lost their spark. Huh. A straight right! He bends backwards like a willow! <laughs> It's hopeless. All I have to do is touch the canvas with my hand, and I can rest. I can rest. He's down. Gotcha. Hold on! Uh, huh? He's cut his arm on the rope! He's suspended in mid-fall! This champ is tenacious! He's lucky he caught that rope. It was instinct. He wrapped his arm around it without thinking. He makes very few mistakes, and he bounces back from the ones he does make. I can hardly call him lucky. Is this the coup de grace? The challenger launches an attack! I could have rested if it hadn't been for the rope. I don't know how I'm standing. <sighs> Sonata is tough. I was so naive to think that I could keep the belt from an opponent like him. What's so great about being champion anyway? What's so great about a first defense fight? Thinking I'd win my first defense fight was just arrogance on my part. I was full of myself. I wanted to find out what it meant to be strong. Well, there's somebody strong right in front of me. Huh? I am not giving up! He has fire in his eyes again. I will fight! Until the very end! Round four is over! The champion makes a narrow escape! I felt killer intent from the emptiest of punches. I'm greatly impressed by your strength of spirit. I respect it from the bottom of my heart. Well, what do you think? I hammered him carefully with body blows. If he hadn't been my opponent, it would have ended long ago. But I'm sure even he's at his limit. Mm-hmm. You're right. I doubt he can move. He may still have the juice for one power blow left, no more. But treat it like a landmine. Just be careful not to step into it. Yeah, you're right. Any more than this would just be a cruel display. I'll finish him off on the next round. Good. Even in Mexico, I never met a boxer who responded so completely to my expectations. I still remember everything I learned from Kamigawa clearly. The tension, the sense of fulfillment, and the sense of loss. After the passage of ages, it looks like the time to repay that debt has finally come. Don't say anything, kid. Just keep breathing deeply. Just rest, kid. You sure took a lot of hits in that round. You're gonna have to keep your mitts up, kid, and protect yourself. You have to stay confident out there. Don't lose your head. The second half will be the key. The kid knows I'm only saying it to console him. He definitely won't be able to shake the damage during this match. He'll probably give out in the next round. Kid, your only hope to hang in there and win this thing is to use your mind and stay focused. I understand, Chief. The next round is as far as I can go. I don't know how much more I have to give, but as long as I'm still moving, I'll use everything I have. I must challenge him to the very end. Coleman out! <laughs> Huh? What is it, kid? It's my legs. Damn. His legs are going out on him. 
Please slap me or hit me or do anything to take me out of it. Please, Chief, help me to get going again. Okay. Hold it up! I'll give you a good slap on the back. That'll raise your spirits, kid. All right, sir, do it. I doubt a slap from an old man will revive you. But I gotta do something. Go get him! Yeah. Ah, what? He just hit him on the back! What's he doing? That was a really loud slap. Did you hear that? Man, I bet you that hurt. <laughs> I'm going in. Now the bell for round five has sounded. Champion Ipo Makanuchi is sent into the ring with a resounding slap from Chief Kamagawa. The question is, can he make a comeback? Or will challenger Kazuki Sanada proceed to claim the throne? This is going to be a riveting round. The damage done to the boy is too great to recoup from in one minute. As long as he avoids stepping on the landmine, the win is ours. <laughs> Makanouchi can no longer move. I'll bring him down with the swallow turnover in one swoop. Huh? The champion moves in! He shrinks the distance between himself and the challenger in one rush! What the? This guy's just not giving up. He's burned out, doesn't he know that? I still have enough power. I can still punch! Ugh. His right scores a point flank hit! This is powerful! I don't need to know how many shots I have left. I'll just keep hitting until I can't! That slap you gave him snapped him out of it. Not really. I just jump-started him for a bit. I feel like my heart could stop if I relaxed for even a second. Attack! Think only of the necessary and you'll forget your pain. Move your body without thinking of anything! The challenger has been to the ropes! The champion unleashes an attack that defies his weakened physical condition! Cora Kuen Hall begins to fill with expectation! The kid doesn't have his usual razor edge. Calm down, Sonata. He's completely unguarded. I am observing him calmly. I am composed. The cyanosis is becoming apparent on his face, telling me that he's definitely at his limit. So why do I feel intimidated? It's a reckless rush. If I were him, I wouldn't have done this. I would conserve my moves and strength to take me to the next round. Sonata's starting to feel the pressure. I can't blame him. This is no landmine he stepped into. This is a kamikaze attack that puts honorable death before surrender. However, even that is no more than the flicker of a dying flame. Yeah. Oh, all right! What power! Damn. But don't lose your cool. Keep calm and make him remember his pain. Oh. He returns a body blow! He had his back against the wall and his concentration faded. <laughs> He took it. What incredible concentration. His right lands squarely. The champ's power is endless. I've got to withstand it. This time it's my turn. This should be Makano Uchi's final attack. If I can withstand it, the flame will die out. What is this? The Dempsey Roll! The champion is going in for the kill! He's going to end his opponent's life in exchange for his own, using the single most exhaustive technique with the greatest destructive force. I would have guessed he'd go into the Dempsey Roll. This is my final attack! Not good! He stepped in deep! He stopped it! He shuts down the Dempsey Roll! Our last hope. Gone. Go, level him with one strike. Uh, uh, the liver! It's a jump to the liver! He got in a good one. I can barely breathe. He took out three ribs. Uh, the challenger is in agony. The champion hunches over. Uh, uh, a gazelle punch! 
The Challenger's head flies back! This is the same strategy he used when he took the belt. This guy's unstoppable. The tide has turned! Here comes the Dempsey Roll! Sonata, get out of there! Don't let him get away! Take him down now! Fall down! I can't keep this up forever! I have to withstand it! He took every one of my attacks. Once I withstand this, he'll be too exhausted to move, and then I'll win. I have no strength. My back and legs are giving out. I've used everything I have. If this doesn't knock him down, nothing will. He, he stopped! No barrage of punches seems to be coming back! I withstood them. I win. I defeated this powerful champion. What do you think of that, Ipo Makano Uchi? Finish him, Sonata! Push him and he'll fall! Don't fall! The fight isn't over yet, kid! Hang in there until the bitter end! <laughs> I can barely move. My nerves are holding together by a thread. I can't fall. I haven't taken a punch. If I'm gonna fall over, I gotta... I gotta throw one more punch. I'll fall after I land this. No. He can't possibly move! Knock him out! Finish him off and put him to bed! <laughs> the kid's signature punch has been reduced to nothing! Game over. I win. I withstood the power blows of Ipo Makina Uchi. I outhit this powerful champion. This victory surpasses all others. I am going to be the new champion. fighting spirit shattered Sonata's pride. All that was left was his tenacity as a boxer. In a way, a part of Sonata that was most unlike him withstood the Dempsey roll. But... Uh, I can't believe he beat the guy. I'm destroyed. That was a hell of a dangerous fight. What's all the commotion? Is it okay now? If it's okay, I think I'll sit down. You just won the match, kid. You should acknowledge their cheers. What? 
Did you say I won? That's right. But the... the punch didn't connect. So, uh, where is he? Right over there. Oh, man. He also has tremendous fighting spirit. He showed tremendous tenacity. He's a brilliant boxer. Now get up, kid. <sighs> oh... This is the hand. Back when I thought I couldn't go on, this hand prodded me onward, giving me the strength for another punch. <clears throat> hey, let go already! You did good. Evo! Huh? You retained the title! The belt is still yours to keep. You won! That's right. Oh, I forgot that. The title belt. I completely forgot that I was champion! It doesn't seem real. Huh? huh? You fought your heart out, kid. You deserve that belt. Huh? Huh? Uh, kid, I'm sorry I got a little cocky because I really thought I was withstanding the Dempsey roll. Everything he threw at me hit me all at once in an instant. I was totally defeated. What are you talking about? You'll win if you fight him again. He's such an incredible boxer. I think it's time to hang up my gloves now. You sure? You made up your mind? You're seriously gonna hang up your gloves now? I can't believe I got this far. But now it's time for me to focus on my medical career. I'll always be grateful to you. I wouldn't have been able to fight this far if it hadn't been for you. You're a good man. And I pray you'll be a good doctor. Thanks again. It's an emergency. Ipo huh? began snoring the moment he laid down. What? Are you serious? This is not good. He could suffer brain damage if he falls into too deep of a sleep. He won't let go of this. What is it, huh? sir? Oh, nothing. He's all right. He should be fine. I believe he's merely in a deep sleep due to extreme fatigue. Phew. That's a relief. You know, Ipo made me realize something. Huh? He didn't let me take away his title belt in the ring. He's not going to let me take it away now. What a dummy. It's not like we're going to pry it away from him while he's comatose or something. The kid came close to quitting many times, but he'd keep coming back. He'd rally as though something was right there prodding him on. And something, or rather somebody, was. That was me, his corner man. It explains his strength. I was right there fighting alongside him. If I had to explain why he quit, I'd have to say it was because he and I really didn't have the chance to bond that deeply. Sonata probably has no regrets. He has another dream. But I hope that in the future, when he looks back, he'll be proud. I don't want him to think of this as tripping over a small pebble, but rather charging in and attempting to climb a gigantic and formidable mountain. So Hama is headed off to the U.S. this time around. Yeah, he's looking for greener pastures. This guy will never get tired of boxing. We also have to go up another notch. You know, Neko, I think this kid can go all the way, as long as he stays focused. Makina Uchi has a very strong sense of responsibility. He'll be strong. I think you're right. Sonata and the others reminded me of something I almost forgot. That I'm the champ, and I have to defend my title. But until I find out what it means to be strong, I'll always feel like the challenger. Catch anything? Um, no, nothing at all. <laughs> um, hi there. I can't believe Kumi's here. I thought she'd never want to see me again. Congratulations, Ipo. Huh? I was there to watch you when you fought. 
to cheer for Sonata with the hospital staff? It's okay, you can tell me the truth, Kumi. I went alone. <sighs> I remember you told me that I should cheer for whomever I wanted to cheer for. Yeah, right? So I did just what you said. I cheered for the person I wanted to. Thank you for doing that. Thank you so much. Now go on and tell her you love her. Go for it. Give her a kiss. You know, huh? I'm feeling a little guilty. I mean, maybe we shouldn't be spying on him like this. Does this mean we have way too much time on our hands? Don't say that. Hey, you've got a bite. Huh? Huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Whoops, let's go. You think they saw us? Oh, I hope not. I feel so dirty. <laughs> Would you guys get out of here? <laughs> <laughs>